Okay, and we're back. Uh, welcome. Okay, so I skipped all the way here to choose... option I didn't choose last time. I don't know what the ending's gonna be or if it just continues and Son is gone forever. I don't know, but if that happens, then what I'm probably gonna do is go a few different routes with Oko-san, because I think I got the normal ending last time. And I want the true ending, so yeah, we'll just see what happens when I let him go. Well, I'm glad you're finally following your dreams, Oko-san. Cool. Farewell, gentle maiden. Oko-san shall return when he has won true pudding from the cruel jaws of his brutal, of this brutal, heartless world. <laughs> He shoulders his bag and dashes away, as swift as the wind. I never saw him again. Which brings us to our main topic, the observational reports on the human representative at St. Pensionations. As you can see, while she was meant to act as a goodwill ambassador, she fails to display sufficient intimacy with the birds. We of the Hawk Party cannot overlook the situation. These reports only confirm that we already, we already knew of human nature. We will execute the termination sequence. Adjourned. Coffee, anyone? Well, um, I have a feeling that it's just going to continue and story's going to happen. I really don't know what's going to happen after that, but I want to get, you know, um, whoops, the true ending, so I'm just gonna start a new game, go through the motions, um, if there's any new scenes or whatever, I'll stop it and stuff. Gym class. I'm gonna do gym class every time. So, this seems new. I had to sit out the week of training. But it was fun anyway. Maybe someday I'll be able to fly too. Fantel? Eh? Cool! Silence, fool boy! Oh! <laughs> Once freed, Oko-san rampages for a while and then comes over with a satisfied expression. <laughs> oh no. Cool! Oko-san loves you, gentle maiden, but fake pudding cannot be forgiven. <laughs> Very well. Sam in the forest, and me in Tatara village. Our love is pure. Carry me away, Yakul. Who the heck is Yakul? <laughs> oh no, I'm actually like Oko-san. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Today is calisthenics. Are you 
Santa, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin up. D don't look like, don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. of the world by force. I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fist. <laughs> Weird. And I'm gonna say no thank you. Weirdo. rock dove is wiggling about on the surface of the water, advancing neither forwards nor backwards. You can't swim, Ryuta? I I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. <laughs> Poor Ryuta. <laughs> We're just giving him a hard time. to scold him. Oko-san, stop it! Koo! These are Oko-san's beans. You cannot interfere. Be quiet. Where's your pride as captain of the track team? Koo! Come at me, whippersnapper! <laughs> whippersnapper? <laughs> and so began a food fight that spanned several hours. The floor awash in blood and beans? <laughs> Blood! What? Koo! You've got guts. Oko-san will step down in light of your determination. You're... Not bad yourself, Oko-san. I think I just got rival zoned. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to forget getting a job. <clears throat> hmm, I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures to go to work. Slacking off and having fun is more the high schooler thing to do. Whee! <laughs> wow. Oh, today is volleyball. <laughs> cool. Take this, Oko-san, smash! How about you? <laughs> At last he returns. I can't believe this is the determining factor of the true ending, actually, which is interesting. Okay. At last, he returns to his lost home, guiding the pigeons to the pure promised land. Coo! Coo! Yes! Yes! A lesson knows the legend! Coo! The Lord of pu the Pudding appeared in Oko-san's dreams. The pudding must be nearby. Oko-san believes that one day Alessa might meet the Pudding Lord, too. Koo! Oko-san must go now. Farewell. And he's gone. What was that Lord of Pudding thing? 
You'll find out. Creepy doctor. Still gonna drink it. I'm not gonna make Coco Sun do it. That was more stuff. Oh no. I can't go back. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I got beat up. Because I gave him hemp. <laughs> well, alright, here we go. Still the same. And this time I'm still going to go with him. I'm coming with you. Coo! What? Fair maiden, this quest will be mortally dangerous. I don't care. If this true pudding exists, I want to find it with you. Coo! Hmm. Okosa knows your abilities well, is not Alessa. You will not be an impediment. So, you'll take me with you. Coo! Very well. Birds of a feather must flock together after all. Yay, let's go. Until we catch the end of the rainbow. And so our great quest began. It looks, it seems the same. Did I get the, oh. We ran for years across fields, forests, and mountains, searching ever onwards. And now we stand in the ancient, unexplored ruins of pudding. Oh gosh. Coo! Coo! This chest must contain the pudding itself! Help Okosan open the lead! Lead, Alessa! So... This is the end? Ha! Oh my gosh, I'm getting... Bwomped. No! I am doing things! Hold on. Okay, sorry. I don't care. <laughs> I told her I was recording. And she doesn't care. <laughs> ah, it's bright. Cool eyes, eyes. Huh? There's nothing inside. A fake? What should we do, Okosan? I guess this is Okosan. Clad in feathers of the purest white, his golden pudding steed shining like the sun itself. Oh. My. Gosh. Are you serious? Are you serious? Is he the pudding lord? At last, he returns to his lost home, guiding the pigeons to the pure promised land. <laughs> No. <laughs> What's wrong, Okosan? What are you talking about? Why are you talking? Okay, why are you talking? <laughs> ah, <stop. laughs> oh my gosh. I am no longer the one called Okosan. 
I am now Puri, Lord of Pudding. <laughs> Oko-san was but my avatar of on this mortal plane. I am now complete once more. <laughs> oh no. Oko-san, what are you? I am grateful to you, fair one. I have at least achieved my goal. I am the bringer of true pudding. I shall bring about a world of pudding. What is this pudding you're talking about? Come on, tell me. Pudding is hope. It is the future. I shall now become the very concept of pudding itself. That, that's not Newtonian. I have enjoyed our travels together. However, you must live on and forget me. That is life. If you, can, if you can fulfill the concept of pudding, I shall be satisfied. I shall not live or die. I shall be the concept of ideal pudding, never in wax or wane. There shall be no regret. Farewell, Alessa. Oko-san! So the world was engulfed in pudding. According to the fundamental principles of Okosan's new universe, every living being carries pudding in its heart. Sorry, I just can't, can't believe it. Really? I mean, I didn't see that coming, but as soon as I saw, <laughs> I saw the picture of Okozan, I was like, "Oh no, are you serious, <laughs> man? Seriously, a pudding odyssey in seven. Whoops. Man. Well. Now I gotta figure out who I want to pursue next. Decided who I want to romance, and it's gonna be um, Ujishiro, I think that's the name. So, we're going for the underclassmen, I guess that's how I say it. So, let's join the library stuff, shall we? I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here, twiddling my thumbs, is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. Come on. Oh. There's no birdie here. I wonder if it'd be okay to close early. Ah, uh, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Planning to jump off the building. The window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. <gasps> Nageki! When did you... 
I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes. Is that a problem? Um... No, books are nice. They are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. Touché? You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. <laughs> Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? It won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some mood on and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Well then, I guess I expected too much to have him there. So I guess I'll just talk to Ryuta. Ryuta, let's eat together. Sure, great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch lesson? Yep, it's a calorie m <laughs> That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said, it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryuta. And so I got to eat half of Ryuta's lunch. His cooking is so good. <clears throat> we can save the calorie in a case of a survival situation. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Honestly. Ah, uh, math boss. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm. Maybe you should review the basics a little more, too. Y yes, sir. Leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Sports festival. Let's we'll skip this part. I wonder. Library! Hey, there we go. He will surely be at the library. May is practically summer already. It's too hot. I think I'll rest in the library. Ah, much better. It's nice that the AC is on, but do we really need it? Nobody's... Uh, no birdies in here today. <coughs> it's not on. It's you, Nageki. It's you, Miss Chu. <laughs> it rhymed. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, he called me by my name. They don't turn the air conditioning on until June. It just feels cold compared to outside. Oh, is that it? It would be a little strange to start spending money to cool a barely used library in May. Anyway, aren't you going to participate in the festival, Nageki? Aren't you? I don't like it outside. So I stay in here. That's all. Hmm. I see. 
shots. Why are you sitting next to me? Do you mind? Not really. Uh, um, listen. Our class president got duped into being a cheerleader and... S sorry. No. Keep going. And so I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. I don't know how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind. I don't think. So mysterious. Midterm exam. Of course I didn't do well. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Alyssa. Brian won a seventh pulser. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pidden, pidden, pigeon crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pitch Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Alyssa.
draw a per line perpendicular to the... <laughs> Everyone's falling asleep. Is this math class or nap time? <laughs> Wisdom increased by five somehow. <laughs> I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even fewer birds in here than usual. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Nageki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nageki? Please be quiet in the library. Hello! You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope. I was just wondering if you were here. Of course. I'm always here. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh, the book he's holding. That's assigned reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe, ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. The whole concept is in inane. Why force everyone to read the same books? It is pro pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about... Night on the Galactic Railroad in Orihato? Woo! Um, I don't know what either of those are. This could be a porno, for all I know, and this could be something normal. <laughs> Let's go with the possible porno. <laughs> it's probably not. <laughs> what about my little Nico bar? Can't be this cute. I liked it. Weird. I've never heard that name before. What is it? It's a light novel that came out last month. It's about an incredible Sundere Nicobar with a complex and her face, faceless male protagonist brother and... I see. Ah, so I wasn't that far off, was I? <laughs> he sounds extremely uninterested. <laughs> Don't look down on light novels. Kirin Nico is cute. <laughs> I don't know why it shows that. Summer festival. Nageki! I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more. But I don't know his address or phone number. I'd go look in the library if the school weren't closed already. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed pigeon freshman. Oh, wait. The, the, <laughs> the depressed freshman who's always in the library. I'd like to learn more about him, though. He, he'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Ah, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. <clears throat> 
Today is my day as receptionist. There's no birdie here as usual. Maybe I should work on the newspaper. Nageki. Yes. Do you have a minute? What is it? Want to write a book review? I'm working on the library newspaper and there's a corner open, so I thought... Can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing them. We never get submissions, so the book reviews are just turning into our personal soapbox. Perhaps it would be better to remove them from the paper. My thoughts exactly. I'd like to see how you'd write one, though. It doesn't have to be very long, either. I'll write one later. Leave the paper there. Yay! Thank you! <clears throat> I think that's everything for the semester issue. Whee! <laughs> wow. I don't know how long I'm recording. Oh! Woo! 50 minutes. to study in the library. The library should be open now. I think I'll go study. Um, I'm sorry sir, but I'm not sure I've prepared enough for my tests. I'd like to go study if that's alright. Of course! Work hard, okay? There are already a number of students working in the library. Looks like mostly third years? They've probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that f frantic this time next year, I wonder? <gasps> Nageki is here too, leaning against a bookshelf in a far corner. Nageki! Miss Chu, did you need something? Why are you over here? There are still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds? Is that it? He nods. They'll just they'll just ignore me anyway. Whether I whether or not I go near. Nageki, are you being bullied or paranoid? Bullied. He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Hmm. I wonder if Nageki's in the library today. Probably. I think I'll go buy something and hang out with him. Yep. <laughs> Door's open. Nageki? Close it, please. I knew you'd be in here. The door. It's loud outside. Oh, sorry. You're staying in here? Even today? It's almost like this... It's almost like this is where you live. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. You're kind of like a friendly ghost or something. It's reassuring to know you're here. Anyway, I brought you something. You're planning to stay here all day, right? What did... Cookies? Yup, the bird watching club was selling bird-shaped cookies. Aren't they cute? Have some. Hmm. Thanks. Hearing him thank me makes me very happy. Even if it was a whisper. In a whisper. <clears throat> he looks a little happier than usual. There's lots of other stuff, too. The third years are doing a play, and one class put together a god tier to haunted house. I was thinking of looking around a little more. Nageki, want to come with me? No. Oh no, he looks angry. I... No, thank you. Go ahead, if you want. Well, all right. Sorry, I didn't mean to try, try to drag you out of here. Ugh. I think he might actually live in here. Now that I think about it, I've never seen him anywhere else. 
Maybe he comes straight here as soon as he gets to school. Hmm. Even more mysterious. Midterms are right around the corner. Ah! I got too excited for the festival and I didn't study at all. I'll have to study at... Huh? Where's my history textbook? It's not on my desk. Oh! I was reading it in the library during lunch, so maybe it's still there. I'll go look. Sir! Welcome back, Chu. Where are you going? I think I left something in the library. Do you know if the door's still open? Um... Somebody brought the key to the staff room a few minutes ago, so I think it's locked now. I'll go there first, then. Thank you, sir. I was sitting over... there. Here it is! Yay! Oh. Somebody's written on the page I left open. The Congress dances, but does not progress. Well, that's funny, but don't write on other on other people's books. Don't leave books laying around with their pages open to the four winds. Nageki? What? Why are you surprised? I hadn't thought you'd still be here. Why not? The door was locked. Don't tell me they locked you in. That would be terrible. It was? I hadn't realized. Well, if it was an accident, then it's all right, maybe? Jeez, you're supposed to make sure there's no birdie left inside before you lock the door. Anyway, I need to lock the door again. I should... <clears throat> Go home with Nageki, come on. Hey, Nageki, let's go home together. No, thank you. Oh! He didn't even pause to think about it. Where do you live? I'll walk you. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. You always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Don't jump to... If I could, I'd... What? Don't worry about it. I'll lock the door, so just leave the key there. He's already reading again. I think I'm annoying him. Ouch. Ah! My grades aren't looking very good. I need to work harder to recover before finals. And so I sat, studying in the library, while one by one, the other students filed out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or not. My, how unusual. I think this is the first time you sat down to me sat down next to me, Nageki. I want to talk to you. You're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No, talk away. I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss Chu. You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me. That's... that's terrible! Nageki, that's t awful! Which class are you in? I'll talk to our teacher and... I'm not done talking yet. Sorry, go on. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. You're not? I don't think so, no. Being bullied might be better than this. Better than this? Then what is he? I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I remember things. Sometimes. But it's still not enough. I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss Chu? I think I... I think I'm... In love? Chu! You're here! You're here late! Sir! The school's already starting to close for the night. 
It's good to study, but working too hard on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not all al Uh huh? Nageki's gone. He was here just a moment ago. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, what is he a ghost? Or did he just like foop just poof <laughs> Did he leap out the window and go home ninja style? Wait, is he a ghost? Is he? Oh. Did I do good? Ooh, rank the top of the seer. Well done. What? Haha, <laughs> suck it. She beats you by two points, Shirogane. Well done. Oh well. <laughs> uh, suck it. Sakuya's glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! <laughs> Closing time already. I don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no! It's snowing! It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard. I'd be risking my life. You're still here? Nageki! A book under his arm. The same as always. I do wonder about last time. But if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll have to wait until it stops. He makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's warming up to me in his own way? What are you reading? Dickens. A Christmas carol. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please, quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a white-out Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished? Yep. I just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. That sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it? Even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... Tim is a boy born weak, who dies young. The protagonist, Scrooge, sees that that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds like... Sounds kind of science fiction-y? I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It would be nice being able to avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. It is what it is. That, and that's all there is to it. And so we enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. This is a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. And I'm going to end it right here. So, I'll see you in the next video. And this video is probably going to be freaking long. So, yeah. Have fun with that. Though I'm probably going to edit some of the skipping things since it's really long and stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.